Within the confines of a fishbowl, the goldfish is a familiar, easily maintained pet, renowned for its aesthetic appeal and symbolic association with good fortune. Originating from East Asia, this species of carp has traditionally been a source of joy in households worldwide. However, when released into the wild, these seemingly harmless goldfish can transform into ecological threats, growing to monstrous proportions and wreaking havoc on native marine ecosystems. The Menace Unleashed, Christine Boston, an aquatic research biologist with Fisheries and Oceans Canada, has been at the forefront of tracking invasive goldfish populations in Hamilton Harbor, located on the western tip of Lake Ontario. This area, already environmentally degraded due to industrial and urban development, has faced further challenges from invasive species, including the resurgent goldfish population. In their study published in the Journal of Great Lakes Research, Boston, and her colleagues shed light on the destructive potential of goldfish in the wild. The football-shaped bodies of these fish can grow up to 16 inches, making them formidable and difficult to consume prey for native predators. Beyond their size, goldfish display a remarkable ability to adapt to various water temperatures, reach sexual maturity rapidly, and consume a wide range of food including algae, aquatic plants, eggs, and invertebrates. The environmental impact. Goldfish are not just passive inhabitants of aquatic environments. They become agents of destruction when released into the wild. Uprooting and consuming plants that provide habitats for native species, goldfish contribute to the disruption of ecosystems. Furthermore, their feeding habits help spawn harmful algal blooms by consuming algae and expelling nutrients that encourage its growth. This creates conditions unsuitable for native fish, leading to a decline in biodiversity and ecosystem health. Research and Solutions To comprehend the movement patterns of goldfish, researchers implanted tracking tags the size of AA batteries into 19 adult goldfish in Hamilton Harbor. The data gathered provided insights into their seasonal behaviors, with the fish tending to spend winters in deep waters and migrating to shallower areas in spring for spawning. Armed with this knowledge, environmental managers can strategize targeted removal efforts before the goldfish reproduce, preventing further damage to the ecosystem. Options for removal include specialized nets deployed beneath winter ice and electrofishing, a technique involving stunning fish with an electrical current for safe removal. The goal is to mitigate the impact on native fish populations while addressing the invasive goldfish threat. Global Consequences The goldfish invasion is not confined to Canada. It is a global issue. In Australia, the release of unwanted pet goldfish led to a river takeover, while the United Kingdom and the United States also grapple with the consequences of feral goldfish populations. Professor Nicholas Mandrak from the University of Toronto Scarborough emphasizes the dramatic increase in wild goldfish populations in the past two decades, partly attributed to pet releases in urban ponds. Climate change adds another layer to the problem as goldfish demonstrate adaptability to warming and poorly oxygenated waters. Despite the widespread impact, goldfish often remain overlooked by environmental managers, leading to a false sense of inevitability about their presence. Conclusion The humble goldfish, once a cherished pet within the confines of a fishbowl, emerges as an unsuspecting threat when unleashed into the wild. The environmental consequences of their invasion go beyond their ornamental allure, highlighting the interconnected challenges posed by invasive species in an era of rapid climate change. As scientists and environmentalists work to understand and address the goldfish menace, the broader issue of non-native species redistribution emerges as a critical concern in the ongoing narrative of Earth's ecological balance. Thanks for watching. If you like to see more science video, please like, share and subscribe. You can also see the relevant research article link in the description.